As Karina Tech and her mother Colette Frabel prepare for Thanksgiving dinner in their home near Kunkeltown, they have a lot to be thankful for. Most importantly, the life of their brother and son, Kyle Frabel. Almost a year ago on Christmas Eve, the Kunkeltown firefighter was on the scene at a house fire when he was injured by a hose and suffered multiple pelvis fractures. After a few days in the hospital, Frabel went to recover at his mom's house. Then on New Year's Day, he went into cardiac arrest. Even in the darkest of hours, when we were all like, this is not good, my mom was the cheerleader and was like, nope, he's going to get better. Nope, he's going to come home. And he is for almost the first time in a year, but it will be an uphill battle. He um, has been in rehab for the year, trying to work his way back to some sort of normal. Yeah. Um, he's recovering and he's doing well, but he has some disabilities that he'll deal with for the rest of his life. Since his injury, the community has come together to support him. The most recent help came from the floor source near Broadheadsville. The business started a fundraiser to raise money to help pay for and install a hospital grade floor in the home where he will live. We take for granted our, our volunteers. We take for granted like the people are there for us. And it was just a way for us to kind of just give back to our community. Assistant Fire Chief Louis Salerno and Fire Chief Brian Stankovich were there the day Kyle was injured. Stankovich says Kyle has been on the job for 30 plus years and would help anyone who needed it. He hopes the community will continue to rally behind him. That's why the fire company is collecting donations for things Kyle will need in the future, like an upgraded ADA bathroom. Oh, it would be good for the community to come back, you know, and support him, you know, his time of need when he was always out there to help other people in their worst time. Not only is he a hero, he's a miracle because he did come off of life support. And then they said he would never move and he started moving his arms and they said he would never talk and he started talking and he would never come off of a feeding tube. And he came off of a feeding tube and feeds himself. As many count their blessings this holiday season, Kyle's family hopes they think of our local heroes. There's really good people out there that that volunteer that put their life on the line every single day for us. And when one of us needs, they're there. The family says they're taking it day by day and know that it will be a long road ahead, but are grateful to have Kyle back where he belongs. Kyle comes home November 30th. We have information on WNEP.com on how to help him and his family going forward. Amanda Eustace, Newswatch 16, Monroe County.